America is the Kim Kardashian of countries. Let me explain. Hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show, Friday News Recap. And on this new edition of my show, I'm gonna be giving you a little stream of consciousness, consciousness, <laughs> stream of consciousness recap of things that happened during the week, big news items, and I'm just gonna rant and rave at you about them for, I don't know, 10 minutes or less. This is based off the success of some of my Big Brother recaps, which you can check out. I know not everyone that subscribes to me watches Big Brother, but um, I feel like people kind of liked when I just kind of flowed with it and said what I was said what was on my mind without too much editing or thought. So the big news item this week was Kim Kardashian in Paris. She was go she was there for fashion week with her whole family, sans Kanye, and she was going to bed. It was late at night. She didn't have her security detail with her, and then. Five guys, who at first I thought were dressed up in masks, but I guess they were dressed up like police. Honestly, no. Details aren't important. N no other news outlet gives a shit about accuracy, so we don't need to either, right? They put a gun to the concierge, made him take her up, take them up to Kim's room, where they entered the room, and then I think the concierge was there too. They both had guns to their head, and the robbers, who were like speaking only in French, like tossed the room and were basically looking for this ring that, this four million dollar ring that Kim had been flaunting on Snapchat that she got from Kanye as a present. <sighs> and like another jewelry box of like six million plus worth of whatever. So they rob her, she's like in her bathrobe the whole time, there's a gun to her head, and then they like gag her, tie her up, put her in the bathtub, and they leave. Now apparently the whole time she's in the bathrobe, she's like thinking, hey, I'm gonna get raped. B, what the fuck, I'm gonna get killed, and C, I don't know, this sucks, probably was what she was thinking. But I mean, that is terrifying if you really think about that, it's like, you don't know what's happening, I would assume the same exact things. and. I guess she was like just like crying, talking about her kids, pleading with her life, you know, doing what you would do when five masked men break into your room in the middle of the night when you're alone in another country. Fucking terrifying. So this happens, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. And the reaction is like what you would expect. I mean, when I first heard that I did the same thing, where it's like, fucking like, well, that's what you get for having that much jewelry or that's what you get for like flaunting your jewelry or why are you traveling with that much jewelry, blah, blah, blah. You know what? It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if she did, it doesn't matter if she was running around the streets with her ring laughing and saying, haha, I'm rich, you're all poor. It's really irrelevant because when it comes down to it, nobody deserves to have that happen to them. Nobody deserves like that's not okay. There's no situation where it's a, where it's like, oh, unless you're like a robber and somebody's robbing you. So people reacted like crazy. They're like, oh, like fucking she deserved like just not really thinking of her as a person. And I understand the instinct to do that because she's obviously like fucking annoying and like her show is obviously ridiculous. But it's just you know really think about it. Like in that moment, she's not a Kardashian. She is just a human, and she was scared shitless. So, and people are even saying, oh, she did it, it's a publicity stunt, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of gross. Like, the reactions are gross. Like, you know what, just because, okay, so basically the bottom line is like, people are very jealous of Kim Kardashian, people, people, um, people like, hate her because they ain't her, kind of. They kind of, you know, everyone watches her and on the show, or even if you don't watch her, it's like you're part of the Kim Kardashian culture, yet, um, you know, even people that watch her, it's like, oh, fuck you. It's like a lot of jealousy, a lot of, a lot of hate watching, you know? And anyway, so that happened. Now, let's relate it to my opening statement. I was visiting a friend earlier this week and we were talking and she is from New Zealand and she, you know, I'll hear her talk about friends who are trying to get work visas or like uh, green cards or just to be able to come to the country for a while and live and this and that. And just how she always wants, she was saying, you know, I always wanted to move to New York. I always knew it. It's like, I just wanted to be here. And like a lot of her friends have moved here. And I was like, you know, it's so funny listening to, I never really think about, I never really think about how lucky I am to live here. Like I know I am and to be born in America. But I think because of Americans always being like, fucking America, like, fuck yeah, it's like, Chill out, there's a lot of other cool countries out there. You know, you just tend to complain about where you live. 
if you're from America. <laughs> I don't think other countries, well, other countries complain about where they live, but it's like, yeah, I wouldn't want to live in Pakistan either. So I think, you know, I'm just used to being annoyed by the country. Like our drug war is ridiculous. Like our presidential elections, like fucking crazy. Like just all this stuff. Like it's like, it's embarrassing. It's, wow, I said that really impassioned. It's almost embarrassing sometimes to be from America. You know, the American stereotype. You're all fucking loud and dumb. You don't know any of the languages. You don't know geography. Like that's true. Like. It's true. So I think being somebody from America that's not like, you know, fucking driving around in my pickup truck with my Confederate flag on the back singing God Bless America, you look at the negatives and I think of like, oh, Canada seems nice. Ah, oh, I'd like to go to Europe. Like, you know, there's just places that seem like way better. So when I talk to my friend, I'm like, well, I never really thought about it. I always don't really think about how America is kind of like, the baseline, the standard for the rest of the world. People look to us, people want to, people make fun of us, but they would love to live here. Um, you know what I mean? Like everyone knows about our election and they joke about it, but yet everybody knows about it. Like I don't know about other elections in other countries because I'm an American. We don't care about anybody else. But you know, people look to us for the shit. It's like, like, you go other places, like, everyone speaks English. It's just like, I don't know, America is kind of like this still, like, idolized in this way. And I was saying this to her, my friend, and she's like, I know, I don't get it either. It's like, everyone makes fun of you, but yet everyone is just like, wants to be there. People are jealous, but they idolize and watch us. People, like, make fun and say we're stupid, but like, they would love to live here and they're clamoring to get into our borders. It's like, it's just like, this American dream idea of you make money, you're seen like this loud American thing. It's like, that's the Kim, that's Kim Kardashian. Building your career up from nothing. Like coming from nothing, now you're rich. You started from the bottom, now you're here. You started from the bottom, now the whole gang's here. People want to make fun of us and shit on us, but in the end, they don't know what the, they would do without us. We are America, we are the standard. We are your entertainment. And that is why America is the Kim Kardashian of countries. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this episode of Angela's Anything Show and the premiere episode of my Friday news recap. I hope that you liked it. They'll probably just only get better from here. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.